Okay, the next question is, do breastfed babies need to start drinking more ounces per bottle as they get older? Also, should they go up in nipple size or stay at level one? So I think you talk a lot in the, in, and I'll, I'll plug again while we're talking here, the bottom line for baby and tell you that if you have a question um, right now, drop it in the chat below or send a text 402-256-0768. We're getting through the questions. And if we don't get to yours today, we will definitely hopefully do another one of these soon so that we can keep going through questions. But what do you think, um, or, or what experience do you have or from the book, anything specific to share in terms of eating, bottle, breastfeeding, all of those sorts of things in terms of as they developmentally progress? Um, I would defer this question to the pediatrician in the room here um, in terms okay. of how they should be getting and all of that. One thing I'll, I'll say is that, you know, there's a lot of worry about nipple confusion and actually sure. there's really unfounded worry. Um, there's a lot of science behind that actually. And they say, you know, if you can avoid using additional nipples, whether they be bottle or pacifier in the first two weeks, um, that might be helpful, but it's not even necessary. If your baby is screaming their little head off um, as a newborn and a, a pacifier is really soothing, you really can not worry about nipple confusion. So um, I don't know if that plays into the nipple size, but um, what would you say about how much food they're getting and nipple size? What would you say about that, Doc? So for in, in most babies, I think, you know, we see them go through this and I, I, I try to avoid being like, you have to get this many ounces in because people get, parents get really fixated on, on the check mark, check boxes of 24 ounces or 16 ounces or 30 ounces or whatever. And then they get hyper-focused on that. And I really think that the baby, as long as baby is growing and thriving well, he will tell you when he needs more, which means then, you know, if he's going for shorter periods of time between feedings, then it's probably a good time to go up on the amount or frequency of feedings to meet the needs. And if you're feeding a bottle and they're having huge exorcist style spit ups after a lot of feedings, <laughs> then it might just be a volume issue that you're, you're, you're feeding too much and need to back down and do smaller, more frequent feeds. Um, in terms of the, 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 the speed of the nipple, uh, I think that usually between two and four months, most babies will go from whatever like low flow, one, whatever the, the nomenclature is around the specific um, bottle type to a medium and then to a fast, usually between six and nine months. Some babies never do that. And I think, again, you just look at the baby and say, well, it used to take 15 minutes to do this bottle feeding, and now it's taking 35, and they're nodding off because they're so bored because it's taking so long. Well, it's probably just the time to go up on the speed of the nipple flow so that you can do things in a more, you know, streamlined fashion and it doesn't take an hour to feed a baby four right. or five ounces so um and i agree completely with you on the nipple confusion thing a lot of parents feel or are told you can't do a pacifier for two months or something like that and then they come to me and they're like well what are we supposed to do they cry all the time we put him to breast we never get any rest he's latching well he's feeding well we have a good supply he's growing well what can we do um, I think a pacifier is fine. Once we've established that latch is um, good, then a pacifier is totally fine. There's some evidence that shows that pacifiers actually help prevent SIDS. Um, and so introducing a pacifier in my book is totally fine once we've got a good latch established. And basically that's, that's the only criteria that I have too. And then, you know, if it's the middle of the night and you can't get baby to calm down and mom needs a little bit rest, other parent can definitely go in, you know, hold the baby, make sure the baby is fed and dry and all those things, and then stick pinky finger in um, and, and let the baby s suck on the pinky finger, soothe, fall asleep, put the baby down. I think that's a totally appropriate thing once we're growing and thriving and all of those things too. So that those are the common um, questions that I get around that specific topic. It sounds like your answer in general can apply pretty much to anything, which is we can follow our baby's leads. We can trust our babies yes. to let us know if an adjustment needs to be made. And we can trust ourselves. That's a big message in the bottom line for baby too. Um, follow your instincts, you know, um, and you know your baby better than anybody else. So it's okay to follow their lead and follow our own instincts too. Yes, I think if you look at your baby and instead of saying, the rule book says we have to do this much, but baby is telling me something different, look at the baby and say, well, I think the baby is telling us that he needs to eat more or that he's satisfied and we can use a pacifier. Like you, you can put those together comfortably and feel confident about your decision and move forward from that. 
Thanks for watching. Before you go, will you hit the thumbs up like button because that will make me feel great and it will make you feel great too. Hit subscribe so that you don't miss another episode. And if you have a question that you would like me to answer, just text me. It's 402-256-0768 and I will answer your questions live in an upcoming video. Keep up the good work.